cool. Hello, people of the earth. Welcome to Let's Play Creepy Tale 2. <laughs> uh, we are here still in Zahora Months. We're now kind of halfway through it by the time you've got to this one, at least. Um, but I finished Creepy Tale 1. I was expecting that. It's a short game. I am Mackie Forrest, by the way. Did you know that? This is part one. Because we started a new game. <laughs> this is the best intro. Um, but no, we played the... We played the I, I just recently finished the first one, so now I'm playing this is the second one. Uh, made by the same people, but I can already see many improvements. And from what I saw from the trailer, hopefully, or from the description of the game... This one's going to be a little bit more better than the last one. Not that the last one was bad, but the puzzles could have been shaped a lot better. But I won't get ranting about that right now. What have we got? See, look, we've got an open backpack. I'm not using that controller. I'm using Mr. Pro Controller over here. Don't use that stuff. Um, uh, but uh, you, we got use item and action. There's no jump. There's no jump. It's like FNAF. Five Nights of Freddy's 2. There's no doors. This time there's no jump. What do we got for settings? I think we're all good for settings. Yes, we like it in English, although if you got Japanese, I'll put that in there. <laughs> Quite happily. Uninvited guests. So this looks a little more fleshed out. We'll see how long this one lasts. Look, this one's even got really good cutscenes going lost on. Track of time. I'd better go and check on my family. And voice acting. I didn't expect that one. He's a very English sounding boy. <laughs> uh wait, end of dialogue. <laughs> well I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Alright, what <laughs> action and moving. Oh look, we have this is no longer a platforming experience. They've upped the ante. I can and arrows for training in the art. All right, we got dialogue with this one. It is definitely made by the same development team. <laughs> but they've, they've gone a bit above and beyond. This past summer, Father and I found a magical glowing rock in the forest. It looked like amber, and now we use it as a nightlight. I mean, yeah. If there's any mosquitoes in there, look out for dinosaurs. Handsome bird that gave me a scar on my cheek. Yeah. You do have a scar on your cheek, even, even though, depending on what way I face, it's still there. <laughs> Surely I would only see one scar. Did he claw both sides of your face? Uh, well, we have mechanical... Half of the cupboard is full of my creations. I like crafting things out of stuff I find in the woods. I don't know I said anything about mechanical, they're just gears. But I'm, I was guessing something could be interacted with rather than looking at it because it's not an eyeball. <laughs> uh, okay. How about this one? Cupboard full of handicrafts. Ellie is in charge of it. I don't know why, but she likes to keep it locked with a key. Is it me, or did it say cupboard really weird? Say it again. Cupboard full yeah, of Yeah, I, I... A cupboard, a cupboard, a cupboard. There was, there was a space in there somewhere. The mousetrap is ready to strike. Luring its victim in with a tasty piece of cheese. There's a mouse trap down there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I saw the bit of cheese. All right. Hello, little sis. Hello, dad with gun. Don't shoot me. Uh, da, 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 da. What is in here? Cupboard of food. Stop saying it like that. <laughs> yes, it is a cupboard. You're going a bit too British. E, e old British. Br British. Um, what do you say? Lars, my teddy bear is missing. My character has a name. Lars. Your teddy bear is missing. I think you'll find it's right there. But you two are inseparable. When did your teddy run off? Teddy ran off. We were playing hide and seek in the yard. He usually hides behind the well. He thinks that's a good spot. Silly teddy. But he's not there today. 
Ah, he got smart. We'll find him. Don't worry. Uh, let's just not look for him, sister. Father is cleaning his rifle. I shouldn't distract him without good reason. <laughs> just suddenly jump on his shoulders. Hi, Dad. <laughs> My mother's diary. She went missing five years ago, and this is all we have left of her. Mm. The way Father tells it, Mother was a very scholarly, spiritual person. She spent every spare moment in the library. We tried to make sense of her entries, but Mother wrote in an ancient language that my grandpa taught her when she was little. When she was little? Yeah, when she was little. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. I shouldn't be laughing at this one. Uh, you can tell maybe the voice actors on doing it right? I don't know. I don't care. We're all having a good time here. What? This stamp is where we split locks. It's been here for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Father and I love shooting in the yard. Yesterday I was only a couple of points away from beating him. He's up in his game, Dad. I'm losing your step, high scarecrow. You're clearly not scaring a crow. There happens to be one right here at my fucking feet. All right. Well, it's already looking, as I said, a lot better than the first game. I'm not saying that I, I don't discredit the first game, but hmm, there's only the teddy bear's body here. Ah, he's got a no head. But uh, they definitely expanded out with this game. Um, there's a definite difference it's like black and white do, 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 do. but I love the art style of the first game that's what attracted me to it in the first place and it, this one's got the same so that's fine okay well I got I got the teddy bear's head sister would you like just or the teddy bear's body did you find teddy not yet Teddy's an expert at hide and seek but I'm sure I'll find him Okay, never mind. I have to actually find Head. Is he in the food? <laughs> Cupboard of food. No, shut up! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> it's gonna be contagious. Right, well, it's not exactly... There wasn't... Is he in the outhouse? I can't even look in there. I need to take a jolly good old shit. <laughs> I think I'd better go I out here. my sister to find her teddy bear. It's got to be somewhere in the yard. Uh, uh, teddy bear? <laughs> Let's find her teddy bear. Well, I found her teddy bear, but I didn't find. <laughs> I didn't find its head. <laughs> where is where? There's nothing to indicate that I can interact with it anywhere. Except, wait. I got an axe. A mean crowd tore off the teddy bear's head. How can I make it open its bed? Oh, I'm glad you pointed that out because I would have never noticed <laughs> the, 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 the crow has the teddy bear's head. Uh, how can you make it open its beak? You know, shoot at it. <laughs> Swing this shovel at it. <laughs> Do something. What can we find? Is there any more additional interactive things? Dad, can you go and shoot a crow? So that we can get my sister's head back. I mean, my sister's teddy bear head back. <laughs> yeah, the teddy bear. Head. Father is cleaning his rifle. Oh, for f I don't have anything. Maybe there's something upstairs. Yeah, because I need my. Here we go. I'll only shoot the crowd if there's no other option. The crowd? I think I can outwit the rascal. <laughs> you can outwit it. What we want? <laughs> Just shoot the fucking thing. <laughs> uh, wait. It's autumn outside. My favorite time of year. Yeah. <laughs> what is this accent? Cupboard full of handicrafts. Don't I hate officially hate you saying that word now? <laughs> uh, let's see. There's nothing else. I can't interact with anything on this table. This is a table of nothing. 
I can't seem to interact with any of the things around here. What am I, some kind of incapable prick? This stamp is where we split logs. Yeah. Got any logs to split? Father and I love Yeah, you. blah 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 blah. Okay, how do I get crow now? A mean crow tore off the teddy bear's head. Can't interact with that. Or that. Can you get away from the barrel? <laughs> can I use the D-pad to move? I can use the D-pad to move, but it's way more jank. I'm using the analog stick. <laughs> this game doesn't need a D-pad. I promised my sister. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want from me? <laughs> Because I immediately thought arrows, and they said, actually, I can do something bad in that. I'm like, what's fucking bad in the arrows? <laughs> you fucking failure. Maybe we can lure it out with food. food. Yeah, do it. Shut up. <laughs> Interact with food. Go upstairs to t and, and take the cheese. What? That was your solution. <laughs> But it's it's for the mouse, so we can catch the mouse. I think the crow will like a piece of cheese. Yeah, I think the the crow will like some cheese, but the crow maybe less so. I don't think crows like cheese. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're gonna be a, 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 a abusing this, this lingo. So <laughs> use item. Okay. Uh, how about this piece of cheese? Um, wait. Where am I putting this piece of cheese? Well, oh, oh right, we're not putting it. We're just throwing it at the crow. There, the teddy's been found. Now I just need to sew the head back on. Yes, let's go and find a sewing kit for that, shall we? Now let's shoot it with a bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, <laughs> silly me. All right, hold on. Uh, probably is that's upstairs. Got a sewing kit. Cupboard full of handicrafts. Ellie is in charge of it. Uh, do we just say I found your teddy bear? Can I sew it back on now, my dear? Ellie, can I borrow the key to your little? Yeah, here we go. Maybe. What for? What for? <laughs> what? Getting a bit of hurry, trying to. I think it will speed up the search for your lost teddy bear. What accent are we trying to go for here? <laughs> Really? All right. Take it. Cut. I take it all back. This game doesn't have voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being so harsh. <laughs> all right. Cupboard. Yeah. No. No. Shut up. With your cupboard. All right. Use key. Yeah. Ah. I'll put the backpack because I'm totally wearing one of those. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with this game. Needle and thread. Did you? Heavy and dependable axe passed down from my great grandfather. It's a family relic. Your yeah, grandfather. I can't bring it to Ellie in this state. Key to Ellie's cupboard. No, shut up! <laughs> uh, Needle and thread. Right, good. Yeah, can we just fucking use that? Choose an item to combine. This. Teddy bear. <laughs> Teddy bear. <laughs> Oh, we're having a good time here. Where's the horror? <laughs> Teddy's back. Time to tell Ellie the good news. Yeah, can you tell her in a in a better voice? <laughs> right. Do I just get the item out? Here we go. Look who I found behind the haycart. It's your tell Teddy not to play with crowds again. Yeah, or crows. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay, no need to beg. Sam, come here. Uh, all right, yes, then. Yes, father? <laughs> his furniture. What's a furniture? <laughs> oh, his father! <laughs> it's meant to be a cold night. Be a good lad and chop some fire. Right away, father. Father. Uh, 
I'm going to chop some wood so we don't get the cold. <laughs> oh God, full Italian. We've gone full circle, baby, with these eggs. <laughs> that was me, though, in fairness. <laughs> uh, where's the wood? Maybe I can chop this tree down with a crow on it. <laughs> also, I need something to chop it down with. But we've, uh, we've, uh, we've, uh, we've... I'll chop the outhouse down. <laughs> am I going out to get wood? I am. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. There's wood right here. Thank you. And there's another bit right here. Uh, do I only need the two? No, nope, I need this bit as well. <laughs> there's we... no point going into the woods. There's a felt tree next to the house. And also, I'm not going to mention the ominous butterfly that was in the last game. <laughs> but I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> That would be referring to breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> right, hold on a minute. Right, wood. Uh, what do I do now? This stump is where we split wood. Yeah, shut up. Do I? I do have an axe. It was there. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> I can't seem to chop this bit of wood. It's rather hard with this big old axe. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? <laughs> do I actually need to... Oh, I need to press the button myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I like you doing this. <laughs> Hi -ya! Hi -ya! <sighs> That's one heavy axe. Father wants me to grow up to be like Hercules. Yeah, well, he ain't got a chance. Look how scrawny you are. Yeah, well, let's pick up the firewood then. Lovely. All in one swoop. <laughs> I'm very handy with my hands. <laughs> That's why they're called hands. Hey, our father, I got wood. I got woody woodpecker. Done. Good job, son. Put the firewood in the stack by the fireplace. Yeah, by the fireplace. Put it there in the fireplace. <laughs> I finished chopping the firewood. Now I can take a break. Yeah, where's the Kit Kats? <laughs> we'll take a break. Okay. Um, I'm going back upstairs, father. To take a break. <laughs> that was the best accent so far. I just yawned. <laughs> Do more yawning. Uh oh. A monster. Oh, wait, she's back. Is this the same girl from the last no. game? Technically, we didn't afraid. kill her, right? I won't hurt you. What? It's me, Marta. Remember how much fun we had playing tag last week? It's the best voice. I've come to take you back to your family. I have a present for you. See how the pebbles glow. You'll gain power and become a part of a grand scheme. Come out and try it on. If you don't like it, we'll leave. I promise. Yeah, I can believe that. I can't believe she's falling for this. Ah, uh, my whole body feels shivery, but in a nice way. I feel like I'm the queen of the world. I am pleased to welcome you, sister. But you're not the only child in the family, correct? That's right. I have a brother. Yes, uh, young Michael Kane up here. <laughs> Excellent. Where is he? Here. He's right up there. Uh-oh, I better run out. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 he's, not, he's not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it, he's doing it. Run, 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 run! Wait, I got sucked into a hole. There's no way I jumped like that. <laughs> I'm just going to spring back. Oh, finally. <laughs> we got actually the title of the game. Be quiet. You shot at the beginning. Oh, we got dragged in. My name? My house, but I live in a tree hollow nearby, so I am always on hand whenever I need it. Yeah, well, you're fucked up still. My house spirit? I always thought they only existed in fairy tales. My dear Lars, the world is full of magic, but it isn't revealed to everyone. Here, 
Drink this draft of honeyberry. It will calm you and give you energy. Don't trust him, it's bear. <laughs> He'll intoxicate you and do terrible, terrible things. Man, this game is dark. <laughs> Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Evil has come to our land. In the last month, children have been going missing, and forest dwellers have been perishing. With a certain diadem, one little girl's mind was enslaved, and now she's gathering a whole army. A whole army, I say. A diadem? My sister, she just put it on. Dark magic. Now she is in the service of evil. Evil. <laughs> Mata, Dorothy, and now Ellie. Things are getting worse by the day. The day. The mystery lies in the butterflies. They are the ones controlling the forest people's minds while devouring their flesh from within. Within. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? How do we save Ellie? Did you see the giant with Martha? Ellie will probably get something like that as a servant. <laughs> Simply okay. going in and taking Ellie won't work. We need a plan. Go to the town. Find my brother. He lives in the tailor's house. He even helps with the sewing and the housework. And he's awfully inquisitive. He's sure to know more than me. Take him some of my very own homemade mushroom cakes. They're his favorite. Wow, mushroom cake. I've never tried that, but I'll probably never will. Thank you, Bakhtar. It was good to meet you. I'll be waiting for you and Ellie. May the forces of nature help you. May the force. Of nature be with you. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're off. <laughs> ah, this sign clearly says this is a town. This way. I'm going to go there. <laughs> oh, the lights turned off in this house when the minute I walked up to it. Maybe they won't let me in. Oh, hang on. The end of the rope isn't being used for anything. The end of the rope isn't being used. Well, then take it. <laughs> Man, everyone's going to bed. I think I got here a bit too late. Yeah. Somebody must have been in the hall. They left the jack out in this bad weather. Okay, what is that noise that just suddenly started happening? Oh, I saw a couple of eyes in the doorway. Judging by the sign, this is the tailor's house. I hope they'll be happy to see me here. Let's go in. It looks like the girls beat me to the tailor's. Oh well. I need to take a good look around. The house spirit probably hid in time. Alright, what are we looking for? Ah, I have a needle. Here, kitty kitty kitty. Don't be afraid, I won't hurt you. Come down here. Again, you're pointing out saying that I wouldn't have noticed uh, 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 because I didn't notice there was a cat up in the top corner. Uh, this. Hmm. Interesting fireplace. Yeah. You're gonna remove the cloth? <laughs> right, that's a thread. That's one huge claw. It looks like the tailor put out a good fight. Wow. Who knew a tailor would be such a good fighter? Okay, so what have I got now? I can't seem to open... Oh, wait. That's why I can't open, because I... A heavy barn key. Yeah. Monster claw pulled out of a beam in Taylor's house. Just thinking about the creature it belongs to gives me the creeps. Cakes made with honey mushrooms. I'll let talk. They look tasty, but I'm not going to risk eating house spirit food. <laughs> Huge beam. 
or huge pain. A spool of yarn. Yeah. Can we combine? Can we? What am I doing? Oops. My personal invention: a fishing rod made out of a pin and some yarn. Wasn't that nice? My personal invention. All right, shut great up. Great idea. If I attach the pin to the end of a spool of yarn, I'll have a rudimentary fishing rod. I don't even know what I need the fishing rod for. <laughs> but I've made it either way. <laughs> it's a letter. letter from the wood fairy, addressed to the house spirit that lives in the tailor's fireplace. Uh huh. So the house spirit has a hideaway. I hope he got to it in time. That means we can go back in there, right? We're gonna go and meet him. We got to go and meet him. Canvas made from a very thick material. Ripping it with my hands won't work. So is there anything else? There's a pair of scissors here. No, nope, can't do that. Okay. We won't do things with the obvious. I guess I can look in... Letter from the Wood Fairy. Rest to the house spirit that lives in the tailor's fireplace. My no, I don't want to combine anything. I just want to do. Don't let me press the other button to look in my inventory, but I guess I'm not holding anything. Can I just use this? No, I don't want to combine it. Here, open the letter. That makes no sense. Open the letter. That isn't going to work. Not the best idea. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're not the best idea. Barn key. Flock picket. You know to do that? Seriously? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'll pick it. <laughs> Canvas, maybe. Yeah, okay. Uh, Here. Kitty, kitty, kitty. It's got a key around its neck, so... I may need to go and find something to lure it down and put it in that... Uh, thingamajigo. The ball. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Uh, ah! Strong boy. Would you, uh, what was the benefit of doing that? Do I just have that now? I have a bit of wood. An old but still sturdy plant of wood. What do you need that for? Going further into town doesn't make sense. The tailor's house is right behind me. All right. Still don't know why I made a fishing rod. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. So what else can we do here? There's got to be something I can do with the cat, maybe. I don't know. Ah, uh, right. That's letting me open this. Hold on. Nope. Nope. Can I do something here with this? God dang it. <laughs> nope. Um, yeah, here we go. Rip it open with that. Why didn't I do that in the first place? Uh, I guess we're going in. Shit, no, I didn't mean to do that. Let's stop it. <laughs> That's it, crouch. I found the house spirit's home, but the door is locked. Darn. Uh, the cat has the key. What can I do with the cat? What can I do with cat? Maybe he likes ball of you. I'll give it that. There's gotta be food around here somewhere then. There's gotta be something to lure it down with. But what? I mean, there's a fly buzzing around, but I don't think I can kill it. <laughs> or anything. <laughs> uh, let's go and look back outside for anything. anything here. Oh shit. Oh. Wait. <laughs> We're using this claw for goddamn everything. Okay, now I have rope. What can I use the rope for? No, not for here. Sh 
just lasso the cat down. <laughs> uh, oh, can I combine items? Maybe that's where the backpack is going to come in handy. Maybe. Shit. No. Nope. Uh, that makes no sense. I know. What? That makes no sense. You don't make no sense. That isn't going to work. No. <laughs> Okay, what do I do with plank of wood? It gave me a little hint earlier, I noticed, and I took it because it said oh, the, the crow needs some chess from the mousetrap. Or does it really? Climbing onto the roof using the rope isn't a bad idea, but it won't work without the weight at the end. Okay, so we need a weight at the end. Have I got a weight at the end? I don't really have a weight at the end, unless we can... Yeah, shut up. Uh, weight at the end. Why, why isn't the plank a viable? That's a long rope. Uh, let's see. Uh, doink and doink. That isn't going to work. Okay, I need to... That makes no sense. Yeah, shut up. I'm trying to quit out of the menu. <laughs> Buttons! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Don't. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of heavy stuff here, but it just don't do anything. What do I need this lock for? Cause I can't. I got. A heavy bond key. I don't know. Oh. I can use this to hook onto something and climb up a little way. All right. Well. Amazing. With this, I can hook onto something and climb up a little way. A little way. A little wiggly way. <laughs> Alright, hold on a minute. Uh, grab... Uh, do this. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> hmm. He got it. It's got a good hold. I think I'm going to try climbing up. Puss flat on his ass. Again. Oh. <laughs> This teleportation rope is rather handy. Let me jump up over the building. <laughs> okay, hold on a minute. Wait, are we actually doing that? I can't do anything else down here. I can't move up and down even. I can move up and down a little bit, but... I'm guessing he just uses the rope if I go back. If I try to jump, it might be the last thing I do. Yeah. Okay, um, hold on a minute. Uh, can you get in there, maybe? Unless I'm supposed to use another item up here. Oh wait, hold on a minute. Of course. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> I used a plank over here. Point. <laughs> uh, Lovely. Now I can walk. <laughs> That's it. Jump. You can jump that gap, surely. You're a nimble lad. The jack has milk in it. Even the mark is full to the brim, but I can't reach it from here. We need something to hook on to it, so maybe I need to use this again. Yep. <laughs> Fishing line! This is... We're not catching fish, we're catching... Wait, am I... Oh, I'm doing it, am I? Lower it down. Lift it back up. <laughs> Alright, I got that now. Last filled with fresh milk. And that's good for the cat. <laughs> Now if he fell down then. <laughs> Game over, boy. <laughs> Alright, in we go. And... I will put this in there. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come down and have some tasty meal. Mm -hmm. The poor thing is scared out of its mind. It's even afraid of me. We can hide. Or maybe it just doesn't like milk. Maybe it's like me. I like blood directly from the skull. Mm. Yum. So. Aha. <laughs> he fell for it. I got your key now. The scary stuff is over now. Be a good kitty and let me take this little key off you. Little key. All right. Well, I got the key. Uh, use the key. 
Lovely. Hello. <laughs> I've broken in. Hello, I'm Lars. Backbone told me to find you. Is he <laughs> all right? Yes, you got a hook he for a hand. me when I was being chased, and he told me you could help. I have to save my sister. Something terrible has happened to her. Lars, your sister's mind has been possessed by the diadem. I'm afraid that simply taking it off won't be enough. Bakton said you were brave. Well, you're going to need your bravery now. Even my master, the brave Taylor, lost his battle against those creatures. He landed a few good hits, but they just got up and attacked again. I tried to help, but they slashed me with their claws, and I tumbled down into the basement. So I say. It seems the girls are hunting boys. Yeah, what a fun sport. <laughs> yes, they use them as living cocoons to turn larvae into new magical butterflies. Oh, nice. The demon himself is harmless. He hides in a... <coughs> in a cough cave. And the little girls do all his... <coughs> dirty work for him. You need to hurry. Head east through the forest. And there you'll find the cave. But how am I supposed to defeat evil? What am I to do? <laughs> I'm supposed to cough? <laughs> we have no idea. Cassis. I think he's dead. Cassis. <laughs> El is being possessed by evil. Who knows where? And I'm stuck here. Oh, Cassis. <laughs> Father, I have no idea what's wrong with him. <laughs> Well, we're not brave enough. Game over. Lars, keep it together. Yeah. We're going to find a way to lower the ladder, find the cave, and save your sister. Uh, wait. A strange rail mechanism. It might have something to do with the ladder. What about this chain? What about these gears? What about anything? Huh? The ladder is too high. I need to find a way to lower it. Okay, do I still have stuff? Okay, so much for the muffin. <laughs> Don't need that. Uh, anything? Hello? Part of the house spirit's arm has been changed to a prosthesis with a hook on the end. Yes. What if this is the key to the way out? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, we'll just take his hand, no problem. Uh, what am I gonna do? Hook these? <laughs> The prosthesis slotted perfectly into the mechanism. I see. Uh, have we got to figure out a little puzzle here? Let's try this one first, I guess. That did nothing. <laughs> that also did nothing. Oh, come on, pull them a little bit more. <laughs> okay, well there's no clue. Unless I'm supposed to do something when he's grabbing a hold of it. No? No. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, oh wait. Gears? Ah, wait. So does that work now? I don't... Maybe there is something... telling me in this room. At the moment, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so I can only make this go back and forth, but it can only, it will stop at each intersection, unless I can make it go up. Ah, we can make it go up as well. Does this help in what way? <laughs> no, it doesn't help <laughs> me figure out anything. It's a good one, isn't it? Let's try this 
position. See if something works. Nope. Nope. Well, we could be here all day. Where is there something to help? <laughs> I can't just be doing this method the whole time. Wait. Uh. What? Is this supposed to help? I mean, I'm assuming yes. <laughs> So, no, don't. Oh, he does that automatically. No, don't do that. Hold on, I need to maybe replace the hook. It's the only thing that brightens up. Oh, I can do this manually. I can do this manually. Oh, wait, it was in the right spot. That wasn't the hook lighting up, it was the... Okay, right. I don't know why I assumed it did it automatically. It just felt like it did it automatically. It was actually me. Right, so this is the right spot to put the hook in. So how do I know now? Unless it can go more up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it was the <laughs> hooky bit. So now this should work. Except there's probably an order of some descript. Ah. So we got... Wait. Oh. I see what you're trying to do now. Right. Once I know the idea behind it all. So are we supposed to... I don't know what you want after this now. And things are coming to a close. So you know what? I'll figure this out for the next part. Uh, cause, uh, I'm running out of time to record this for now. So, uh, I'm gonna thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, maybe making it back in the dark will reveal the mystery. But we'll see. Uh, gonna wrap it up for now. But yeah, this is a much bigger improvement from the last game. Uh, and I'm looking forward to playing the rest of it. We'll see if we can get to the end of this one. But we have only got half a month left now. So... I will see you however and whenever good day and goodbye and uh, don't forget to speak with a bit of an accent <laughs> I love the voices <laughs> anyway goodbye